Hi guys, John here, and today we're playing Firewatch. Now, this game came out a couple of months ago from uh, a company called Capo Santo. It's their first game that they've done, at least big budget game that they've done, as far as I'm aware. Um, and uh, it's got rave reviews from pretty much everywhere. Uh, I I don't really know what to expect. I've just been told it's really, really good. Uh, that's what more do we need to know, really? Let's just get on with it, shall we? Okay, uh, let's just check settings. Um, I don't have music playing, but so you know what? I'll just keep it down a little bit. Voice and sounds up to the max. No, it's as far as I can take the sounds. Master volume to the max. Let's play subtitles. Okay, new game. Older Colorado, 1975. Okay. You see, Julia. Oh, I had to press X, sorry. <laughs> She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, about drinking with your pals, you approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> you, you're pretty, so what's your, you know, major? Um, I think I'll go for that one. Slow the words major and it smells like cause. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she says. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? <laughs> Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Why would she hurt your feelings? She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you're, you are Julia's boyfriend. Okay. Uh, let's, um, which floor do I want? Let's open the doors. No? Backpack, pick it up, okay. Oh, the lift was moving. So, first person perspective. Uh, I wonder if I can see myself in the reflection. No, nope. get in the truck. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Um, she wants the beagle. We'll give her the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Well, they have been together for four years. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. 
I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. Um, four years is quite enough time. Go on, then that would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I'd like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best of their parents are hitched. <laughs> you say she's absolutely right. Uh, okay, so seeing as you're on your own, presumably these uh, choose your own adventure bits are all in the past. And this controlling first person bit is in the future, uh, present rather. Two forks. Okay, uh, if that's a map of what we're going to have to deal with, it's quite big. Don't forget to check in, learn to live with bears. Thoroughfare travel is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. No fireworks, okay. Follow the trail, I guess. What's that? Post. This is kind of pretty. Kind of very pastely. Oh. 1980. It's the Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Do I get mad or do I ignore her? Um, mad's probably best. You call her an inconsiderate asshole. She tells you to fuck yourself. Let's not be such a baby. You call her selfish. You, she knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Wow. 1981, Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> I'm not sure which one of them's better. Let's go with He-Man. You look awesome. <laughs> okay. Not sure how long we're walking this trail, but it looks like it's dust now. Everything's like nice little shades of orange. Oh, what does that say? Two folks fire lookout. Eight more miles still. Sheesh. X to climb over obstacles. Nineteen eighty two. During the summers you and you and Julie enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town, it brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. But be bad, fuck the dead dog, Julia yells. She is flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Oh, you beat his goddamn face in. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate Department Chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, wow. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. Man, well, I don't. I wouldn't want to tell her not to take the job. And we don't have kids, so. Agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. Flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 
Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. No, 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 no. Let's talk to someone. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Journal. What's in there? Yeah. <laughs> I could have done without the um, graphic nature of it. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because it gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. The research is in shambles. She drives a car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She's sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and you are unborn children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home, and sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move into a full time care facility or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. Let's not give up just yet. So, presumably, this is uh, detailing Henry's backstory prior to coming here to be a what fire watchman, I suppose they call him, don't they? Oh, walking across the log. Walking across the logs. Oh, look, a stag. Hi, stag. Oh, bye, stag. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her, like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. She can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay awake for a few hours. You stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do it, you worry about her getting up. I walk it around while you're gone. You put a chair from the bedroom door, you trust it, and she thinks, like, well, I'm not going to lock her in, and it'll probably be for the best. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Oh, man. 1989. One night you were stopped on a DUI checkpoint. You blow a 10 and are taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. I guess with all the stress and pressure and everything he was under, looking after, you kind of explain 
you kind of understand why you'd want to get away, but um, I don't know. Unless you're in that situation, you probably can't just understand it. It's pretty tragic, one way or the other. So I'm going up there, am I? Okay. Hop over. Why would I want to? No, I want to go. I want to go up the stairs, don't I? Look at the graphics on that wood. You can see the grains. That's good stuff. Hell of a view here, and all. Uh, oh, here's the door. There we go. Turn on the power. Voila. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Excuse me? Radio. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing. Right <laughs> now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um, you killed three ex husbands, you rebel against mom, nobody back home can stand you. Ah, uh, let's rebel against mom. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> Just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. And there you go. So, Henry and Delia, was that? Or Delilah? Didn't pay that much attention. Day one. Well, so far so good. Um, nothing much has happened, just to explain the backstory, but it's graphically, it's very nice. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me at my desk. Where the hell are you? All right, come on in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. <laughs> Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? 
Oh man, we. Are those fucking fireworks? Wes. How do I look? Oh. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Uh, I'm not gonna kick the shit out of him. Do you think you can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. <laughs> okay. Right, so, right, uh, there we go. We've got something to do now. Um, let's do this. Pick up the backpack, I guess. Do we pick up the backpack? Oh, we pick it up automatically. Okay, so we're going west. Oh, there they are. Okay. Which, if my... Yeah, straight on, yeah. Read the map. Okay. Can I, can I have a look at the map? Oh, hold on. Whoops. All right, that's where we are. We're going west to the lake trail, presumably. Ah, cache 306. That's where she said I should go first. So if I'm facing northeast, if that arrow is anything to go by, I've got to turn around. Hmm. Trails aren't exactly clearly marked, are they? Oh, here we go. Jonesy Lake, 0.7 miles, is that? Let's go. Can we get the map back up? I do appear to be heading in the right direction. Okay. This does seem to be something... I mean, I, the problem I have with first-person perspective games is that half the time, the perspective is lower than you'd expect it to be. I mean, I'm... Unless he's a midget, his head is just higher than this rock. It doesn't make sense, does it? It should be a bit higher up. Up over... Oh, here we go. So the the trail curved round, if I remember rightly. Yeah, just round the edge of the curve is where that cash box is. There we go. You can hear the fireworks popping now. Okay. Found the supply box. Great. Uh, this right one, two, three. Whoops, three, four. Oh, what do we have here? Extra information put on the map. Fantastic. And a note. Ron, hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Okay. Pine cone, not interested in. We'll take the granola bar. Yeah, sort it, let's see it. And the rope. Deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. Close it down. 
Right, let's have a look at my map. So if I keep following the trail, I'll get to the lake. Hopefully that's where they are. Um, rest is that way. Okay, let's go. Although, actually, actually, before we do, I saw something back here. They look kind of interesting. It's a shortcut. Locked trail. So, no shortcut then. Okay, never mind. Two Falls Fire look at 800 feet to the east. Jonesy Lake, 0.5 miles to the west. Let's go then. Oh, I can run. Okay. Oh, once I press it, there's no stopping me. <laughs> there you go. Square to toggle jogging. Yeah, I just figured that out. Oh, the fireworks are getting louder. How many have they got? Time to consult the map. Oh, wow, we're practically there. Okay. Yeah, there they are. Oh, what do we have here? Attach rope to hook, do I? There we go. Now I'm abseiling down. Oh, repel, okay. Still got, oh, did you see that? Still got a wedding ring on. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make <laughs> it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Easy for you to say. Okay, I've got turned around now. Where's the lake? Oh, we've gone past the lake. All right, maybe I can uh, go round this uh, cliff. Port Meadow. Ah. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Don't know. Just stopped coming out. Wait, what have we got here? You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. There's their backpacks. There's two of them then. And there's their campfire. And where the hell are they? Really? <laughs> I didn't give you the option to drop that, did it? 
Oh, what the skinny dipping? Yeah, yeah. Two girls. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. <laughs> Enjoy dealing with that. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Don't threaten us. Are you creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who like to boss people around. And now he's over there with his mouth hanging open. I left all your stuff back there. What? You were messing with our packs? What? Gross. No, I was. I didn't. What the hell were you looking for? Pants? <laughs> no, no. Ew. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Okay, I don't think I handled that the best way I could have. What does that say? Hey, that go okay? It's done. Oh, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. Idiots. Ha ha, so is right. Okay, so now I've got to go. What's this? What's the eye symbol mean? Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim. Even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Okay. Why does it keep telling me to look at... Well, oh, I missed this, honey. They're saying I can look. I can't swim out into it, so that's something at least. All right, let's uh, make our way back, I suppose. Oh, mind you, having said that, how are we supposed to get back up this the uh, cliff that we fell down? It's the rest of their clothes, presumably. So they just left their stuff down here, but it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake. Right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great, okay? Should probably make sure those Roman candles aren't there when they come back. Okay, that's that done. Let's see if we can jog back to the lookout now. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Oh, really? Um. Where are we? West towards the lake, north towards the canyon. Oh, Thunder Canyon. There's another cache over there. Um, right. Okay. Long way round. Let's do it. Definitely jogging though.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two pairs of clothes, we know. Okay, so there's a lake. So I should split off. Into a river. There we go. So this is Thunder Canyon. Apparently. So we follow this. We should be able to circle round back to our lookout tower. If uh, the map and Delilah are anything to go by. That's another log. Pop up. And again. to make what is it um look, i was i was drunk last night when i welcomed you to the job yeah well you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. <laughs> i know i just i know i can get a little pushy you know putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff and you thought it was a good idea to get into your um love life i guess you'd call it yeah um Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Yeah, uh, if I do, let's check the map. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Uh, it looks like we're coming up on a trail. Hopefully, we can get past these cliffs. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Oh, that was terrible. Ugh. Hmm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. How exactly are you in charge? Oh, Henry, that's a good one. You satisfied? Yes. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> but in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where oh. you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it! <laughs> Got your own back on her. Um, let me check the map. It. Oh, I'll keep doing that. Is that brought me nearer to... Okay, I think that's brought me round to my lookout. I hope. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. <laughs> come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Okay, that's great and all. 
But uh, who the hell was it? How do I get out of here? My stuff. Oh, hang on, Trail. Oh, okay. Oh, so I get to go up there. Okay, creepy dude, I'm coming to get you. I honestly don't know if I'm going the right way or not here. Five rocks. Oh, come on, keep going higher and higher. Seriously, where are we? Oh, we are heading in the right direction. How weird is that? Don't know if that's because uh, this is just really linear game or I'm just lucky. anymore oh really yeah I took care of the black path um, it was backbreaking but you know anything for the service well thank you anytime oh here we go look at that there's my outhouse we could we love that there's a generator can I not? Oh, I can only drop it. I can't actually do my trivia. And there's, there it is. Let's go. We are home, for lack of a better term. What the hell? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell did... You should get inside. Fuck me. What the hell? Aw, oh, man. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Look at the mess. Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Yeah. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Maybe that guy I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it, and... Now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts? Great. Uh, OK, 
Okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since... I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. And that was day one. How mental was that? Okay, uh, I think we'll leave it there for now. Uh, so far, so good. Bit of a slow burner, but I am enjoying it. I hope you are too. If so, click like, leave a comment below, and as always, subscribe and share. I'll see you next time. Bye.